Stay out of my way. Get out of here. Why don't you tell us your plan, Fenric? Well, it's nothing great, but I'll need to test the waters first. I made a vow to myself. I'll destroy every human being. For myself. For my family. For Miss Artina! Judge Nemo, do you think that's really the most righteous thing you can do? Do you think Artina would be pleased with your actions? Miss Artina? That's right. Didn't Artina save you at the cost of her life? Would a woman like that seek vengeance? Don't you think this would only disappoint her? Disappoint? Miss Artina? How is this happening? Fen Fen's being nice! This is unbelievable, Mr. Fen Fen! I'm more surprised that he was actually able to carry on a conversation with Malice. Judge Nemo, you can hear my voice, can't you? You're purposely trying not to see the angel in front of you, aren't you? Can't you see her? An angel, you say? There's no angel here. I can't see her. I know you can. You're just in denial. You just don't want to admit the fact that a woman who died because of you has gone on to become an angel. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Talk to him, Thief Angel. Can you hear me? That... that voice is... Yes, it's me, Artina. I'm right here. Th that's impossible! It's not. You've been deceiving your own eyes and heart. The woman who stands here is none other than Artina. She has watched over you ever since she died. She has tried to speak to you countless times to save you from your own curse. But her voice never reached your ears. Now, that voice is desperate and pleading. Mr. Werewolf. It's as if he's seen it himself. I'm rather impressed by my servant. Artina! Artina! That's right, Artina is here. She doesn't wish for you to destroy the world. Your actions are only breaking her heart. Artina! Artina! Ben Fen is right! Please don't do anything more to hurt Artina! Miss Artina is right here with us! Please believe us, Mr. Nemo! Yeah, just believe in her, and you'll be able to see her! Artina! Artina! Ah! Uh-oh! He's breaking down! Don't you dare speak her name, demons! Only I am worthy of calling out her holy name! I, who dedicated my life to exact retribution for her death, am the only one who can utter her name! Please stop! I don't wish for any of this! No! You're lying! That's not true! Damn! I suppose my words weren't enough to tame his malice. You can't trick me! I'm gonna destroy the world! I'll kill you all! Bastard! Are you saying that you're even going to kill Artina? Miss Artina is dead! Humans and demons are both responsible for killing her! So I'm gonna kill all of you!
take this! Yeah! Ha! 
Send your vile soul! Yeah. <laughs> 
Escaping isn't an option. My life was saved by Miss Artina. So, I'll dedicate my entire life to punishing all human beings and the entire world. That's, that's my atonement. He's done. He's becoming fanatical. He won't listen to our words. Looks like we shouldn't have mentioned Miss Artina. We might have to just defeat each malice we find, one at a time. No. We have to make him acknowledge Artina's existence in order to break him. He must admit that Artina, the main purpose for his vengeance, has reappeared as an angel. If he understands the truth, that revenge is not what Artina wants, then his actions and his very existence will be invalidated. Such mental damage will be much more effective than any physical damage could ever be to Judge Nemo. You may be right, but... Is that why you were being really nice to him? Why else? My only intentions were to cause him pain and to destroy him from the onset. That aside, I agree that making Nemo acknowledge Artina's presence is the best way to stop him. Yes, I agree as well. If we can make him do that, we'll be able to tame the power of malice. If we can control his malice, the power of Fear the Great will be weaned off, and that will be our chance to attack. Excellent. I will do whatever it takes to make him believe that she is an angel. Mr. Vampire. <laughs> Mr. Valsy is the only demon who would fight to make someone believe in angels. Desco, you're wrong. Valsy isn't fighting for the sake of angels, he's fighting for the sake of Artina. But he probably won't admit it. 
Oh, and neither will Fen Fen. <laughs> <laughs>